Getting Out of the Box by Sterling Active, illustrated by Dennis Schmidt. I am one of six billion pieces of the human puzzle. Sometimes I try to imagine what it would look like when all the pieces come together to form a picture. Maybe the puzzle would resemble a big red heart, or maybe a giraffe. I like giraffes. God only knows, but I don't think it will happen in my lifetime. Making six billion puzzle pieces all fit together would be very hard. Just think how big the table would have to be. Right now, I'm just trying to learn how to be a happy piece. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be another piece. How does that piece experience life? Sometimes I feel like a small piece. Other times I feel like I don't belong, that I will never fit in, and there are no other pieces like me. Or what if I'm in the wrong box? Maybe somebody made a mistake at the puzzle piece factory. I think all of the puzzle pieces have felt this way before, and I try not to go there anymore. I'm just working on understanding this puzzle piece. I hurt when the other pieces fight each other. The human puzzle lost thousands of puzzle pieces when one part of the puzzle didn't like the ruler of another part of the puzzle. I don't know if it's right or wrong. Only God does. Why doesn't he tell me? Sometimes I take responsibility for the other pieces. I mean well, but I know it's bad for me. I won't do it anymore. They have to learn to take care of themselves. I am concerned for some of the other puzzle pieces that have less than I do. I pray for all the other puzzle pieces and hope they find their way soon. Right now, I'm simply a piece in the box. And that's okay. It's a nice box. I chose it, and I know that if I ever want to be part of the big picture, I must choose that too. I'm lucky because I'm not alone. Sometimes I wish I were. Maybe I could fall out of the box and stay stuck in the couch for a while. I want to be part of the puzzle. It must feel very special to be part of the puzzle, to get out of the box. Imagine what it must feel like to snap into your spot, to truly find your niche, to be part of the big picture. It will happen. Colors and patterns have developed on one of my sides. A shape has formed, with a particular design in mind. I trust that the other pieces have had this happen to them too, and that we will all fit together. I'm getting ready, I promise you that, because that's my job, to fit somewhere, somehow, to help complete the big picture. Right now, I know I'm just a piece in a box, for which there is some grand purpose. I wait, hoping the hand will attach me to the puzzle. I think positive thoughts like, hey, I fit somewhere. But it's my responsibility to make myself fit. The hand can only move me around. Sometimes when another piece fits, I get jealous. Then I feel bad about myself, and I retreat. I have much more work to do to get out of the box. I get excited when one of the other pieces gets out of the box. I think, what a fantastic day. But what do you tell a piece that gets pulled out of the box only to get put back in? I have an idea. How about, I love you anyway. You're a special piece who has an important job. Just keep working on it. You will get there and the puzzle will be better for it. Or maybe we'll invite a few other pieces over for a party. I have also said, it's just a silly puzzle anyway. It's nice here in the box with me. Just stay here. We can work on things together. I trust that when I'm truly ready to leave my box and become part of the puzzle, eventually 
another piece will be added to help connect me to the big picture. Then all of the work will have been worthwhile. I will accept all the other pieces and embrace their uniqueness. While being part of the picture, we all create. Thank goodness I am not just a puzzle piece in a box. I also know that this experience of life is only as good as I make it. Good luck. I love you all to pieces. P.S. Be nice to all the other puzzle pieces. Each one is different, but in the end, we're all part of the same big picture.